Okay, so we're running we're running this we're running our first our first conversion ad, right? To to the to get, get people to download. <laughs> right? Yeah, we are. There's no more video, there's no more intro. So we're good. So hit the dot to the top left and then let's just go to ads manager. This one? Yeah, those dots and then go to ads manager. Okay. Yeah, pull up Kartra. We're gonna need the, the landing page link. So the opt-in page. We need this? Yeah, so just click the dots, get the coder link, and then just open it up in a new tab and then just um, let it sit there. We're gonna come back to that link. So when they click on learn more, it's taking them straight to this page right here. Mm -hmm. um, Pixel is tracking it. Everything is all good, right? You've, you've already oh. tested that funnel? Yeah, say that again? You, you've tested the funnel already? Like when someone opts in, you get the email, everything is set? Uh, I believe so. Yeah, I tested it. Okay. Yes. Is that countdown clock on or? Did I've you, gone to this page so many times it doesn't. It doesn't count for you. Okay, cool. Yeah, uh -uh. so as long as, as, long as um, it counts down, send me the link real quick. Copy it at the top okay. and just send it to me in the chat. Let me, let me open it up on my end. Okay. Um, send it to you in the chat. Oh, yeah. Gosh, I swear. So just you can close out that one. With this, but I'm not. You should see the the Zoom panel, somewhere right. at the bottom okay. or the top. Um, here we go. It it hides under that more link, more those more. Oh, okay. In three dots. There okay, there. cool. So let me let me open up this my end okay cool so the countdown clock yeah it doesn't it doesn't count down so let's just let's just fix that real quick let's um let's just fix that real quick go to um yeah hit close and then just click on the dots again and then click on edit and let's just go into it real quick no not that one the, the opt-in page oh i'm gonna do with this little timer thing that's giving okay, us so just hover over it and let's just edit hit the edit no, not that one. The not clock. this one. The clock. Yeah, so let's just hover over the clock. Click. See if you can click. Oh, there you go. Know. It had a yeah, the assets oh, on the on the page had to load. Okay, yeah. Click on that one and then just um what I what I do over here is I just go off of um based on landing page on landing date. So um you have different options, many different options, but that one's that one's fine based on landing page date on landing date. Yeah. So countdown from two from from two minutes so just go ahead and click yeah go ahead and click on so then i must have been on the page yeah you probably well. visited a couple of times too because remember you kind of helped me <clears throat> through yeah, some of these page yeah. issues that i was having especially with the the fact that once you click the button it was going to a um opt-in page you know for them to put in their email address and so forth mm -hmm, um yeah. I yeah. know I had given you that link and you've been working through it. So I think after so many attempts, it just, it freezes like this. It, it won't run the clock anymore. I guess that's to indicate that your time has run out as it, you know, as it's yeah. it's let me, supposed um, to do. Let me try on another window real quick. Yeah, what well, we need oh, to Oh yeah, have perfect. Yeah, it counts down. It counts down. It, yeah, you're good. You're good. Okay. So let's just hit, hit actions in the top right and just return to dashboard. Okay. Because there's really nothing else. There's no changes, so you don't have to mm -hmm. you don't have to publish live or anything like that. Okay, cool. So we're good. So this page we have it up in a new tab. So now let's just go to the ads manager and and run this ad. Okay. So that um, anything else? Let's let's double check. Go to go to Facebook. Go to, yeah. Go to your actual business page real quick. Let's just double check the post. Let me uh, um, let me just double check it for you. Yeah, we always want to um, make sure that everything is perfect on that post like as far as just no mix misspelled words or commas missing or anything like that like yeah we'll always so, just double check it when you say post are you talking about that video that i put up there yeah the actual ad so the post the ad i guess i get confused when we call it an ad <laughs> the the post well it's it's yeah it's i mean it's 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 a post you post it over here just like you did everything else and then that's what we're going to use as the ad okay. so that's the ad right there that's the actual ad right there so let's click on um yeah click on the dots and let's just click on edit and let's just see if we need to clean anything up yeah <clears throat> definitely need a third dot second eye on that yeah 
And so I just want to make sure that the title is in the right place and mm -hmm. make sure there's no periods or commas missing. Um, okay, so seller market versus buyer's market. Um, okay, so in this video, I will explain the difference between a seller's market versus a buyer's market and how the two un identical market conditions will ultimately affect you when you are buying or selling a home. Stay tuned until the end of our, stay tuned till the end for a free 2021 FSBO seller guide. Okay, perfect. So then let's, um, let's put like a little bit of, 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 of call to action or maybe like a little bit of urgency um, in it somewhere, somehow. So maybe the title, it could be, um, Maybe we could put something like the difference, the, the difference between, yeah, like, like that way. Yeah. The difference between, yeah, a seller's market and a, and a buyer's market. So the difference between a seller's market versus, or, or maybe a seller's market VS. I don't yeah. think that's supposed to be lowercase. Okay, perfect. So the difference between a seller's market versus a buyer's market. A buyer's market. Or, or whatever, however, like the difference between a seller's market versus buyer's, or versus buyer's market. It, you could put A or not A. The difference between a seller's market versus a buyer's market. Yeah. Or, or maybe what's the difference? Like, but I don't want it to be too long either. Like, what's the difference between a seller's market and a buyer's market? Or is it versus? What's the difference between a seller's market versus a buyer's market? Question mark. See, so that that's more of like a like a like a like it's just it's just when a person reads that, it's just a little different. What's the difference between I don't know what the difference is. Let me find out. Right? So it's a it's like a question um, that will entice people to to be curious. Mm -hmm. So just twisting the words like that to create curiosity is what it's all about. Yeah, um, something I struggle with. I mean, and that's why I'm very forthcoming to say that I really don't have a marketing perspective. I mean, when it comes to trying to find well, catchy headlines, great, you know what I'm saying, well, um, overview of video uh, content so that people just kind of like, wait, just snatches you by the neck and makes well, see, you say, I want to read that. Well, see, here, here's your, here's where it starts for you. You know, where it starts for you is, 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 is now, now the fact that you're, now you're, now you're switching your marketing and going into, into a different avenue, which is this Facebook advertising and online marketing and what it, what it takes to get someone's attention online. What you want to do now from this point on is just is is always have your consumer hat on and always be looking at different things you're a yeah. consumer so start paying attention to what stops your scroll start start paying attention to what grabs your attention yeah like even when you're in the grocery store like when you're in the grocery store and you're just kind of shooting the shit and you're in line about to check out and you got all these damn magazines on the on the shelf next to you next to all the candy bars right right when you're about to check mm -hmm. out <laughs> all these magazines on the shelf pay attention to which one grabbed your attention. Yeah. You know, like, and, and, and especially in the newsfeed, as you're scrolling through the newsfeed, you're now a marketer. So start, so start paying attention to what the hell people are marketing and what catch catches your attention and whatever catches your attention, save it. That's what I do. Like I'll, I'll, I'll be in the newsfeed. And whenever I see an ad that catches my attention, I save it. I click the three dots and I save it. And I just start, I start building a, a, just a portfolio of, of everyone's freaking ads and, and different ones that caught my attention. And then I use that in the future to tweak it and, and make it fit my message, you know? So, um, yeah, so start doing that. And then, and then, um, there's a, yeah, there's another book that there's another book that I'm going to recommend that you get. It's this one's also free. And I think the shipping and handling is like seven bucks, same thing, same from the same company of that other guy, but it's, it's on copywriting. It's on, it's on how to write little ass paragraphs to get people's attention. Like it's a freaking crazy, insane, amazing book, but it's on, it's on all that. So what's the difference between a seller's market versus a buyer's market? That's much better. I just hope it's not too, too long because there's only so much space we, we get. Um, and I'll show you where we see that. But okay, so in this video, I will explain the difference between a seller's market versus a buyer's market and how the two unidentical market conditions will ultimately affect you when you're buying or selling a home. 
Okay, so that's a serious wrong sentence. But I would, I, I would, I would take away, take out, just take out, stay tuned until the end for for a free. Yeah, take out that part. It, it's not needed. Um, in this video, I will explain the difference between a seller's market versus a buyer's market, and how the two unidentical market conditions will ultimately affect you when when buying or selling a home. So not when you are, so just when buying or selling a home. <clears throat> Ultimately affect you when buying or selling a home. And then um, what's the difference between a buyer's and seller market? Okay, so, um, okay, so we're-, we're all, here or something? I don't know. Um, in this video, I will explain the difference between a seller market versus a buyer's market. Um, you can put a comma. Sometimes there's a comma before the word and, sometimes there's not. Um, and if you don't have Grammarly, up in this right corner of your screen, the plugin, I highly recommend it. Grammarly is freaking, is, is, is the best. Like, do you have it? Click there. Click on manage extensions. Is it, are those the only two extensions? Yeah, those are the only two. Okay, yeah, yeah. Go to, um. well, you could do it later, but Grammarly, go, go, go to and Google it, just Google it and just install it later, but. Can I do it from here? Yeah, just go to Google. You can just go to your go to Google from here, and just type in um, Grammarly. It's free, and it just yeah, Gram Gram right there. Perfect. Yeah, that first one. So this right here um, is it. This one. Yeah, my yeah, it's that one. It's that one. Yeah. So this is free, and it just as you write and type, it just freaking underlines shit that's not spelled right. It's freaking a game changer. It's so freaking amazing. Mm -hmm. Like I use this for everything. Because I'd be misspelling words all the time, and and then it'll, it'll, it also points out if there's a period needed or not a period needed, so it's freaking awesome and it's free. So do that later. But let's go back real quick. Um, in this video, I explain. In this video, I explain. So not I will. So I explain. In this video, I explain the difference between a seller's market and let's use VS versus a buyer's market a buyer's market and how the two unidentical market conditions will ultimately affect you when buying or selling a home. Perfect. 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 And there's really no, there's a, the, um, what's it, the title? What's the difference? Because that's what, that's what's to the left of the learn more button is the title. So the way it looks right here, this layout, that's not the layout. That title ends up going below the video and right below the video is also the learn more button. So, so, um, so, so sometimes in that title, since it's next to the learn more button, sometimes you'll want to, you'll want to put, you know, something about downloading. So what's, so I'm trying to just think if that title just needs to be, and, and this type of shit, you don't want to overthink it. I'm, I'm kind of overthinking it right now, but at the same time, it, it's, it's somewhat important, um, but you don't want to always overthink it at all. Like, I just want to spend some time really quick on this. What's the difference between a seller's market versus a buyer's market? In this video, I explained. Okay, so maybe maybe that that what's the difference between a seller's market and a buyer's market? The title, put it down below. What if we said, is it a seller's market versus a buyer's market? Does that make people curious? Or, to know or is it a seller's it? market or a buyer's market? But then does that change the flow of this? I don't know. I'll just no, stand no, back. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't. It wouldn't. Is it a seller's market or a buyer's market? Question mark. That's what we should do here. Is it good? Because that, that's more cur curiosity. Is it a seller's market or a buyer's market? Question mark. But see, you, you go ahead and type that there, but we're going to put that in the bottom. So is it, is it a, would not, no capital, no capital, um, because it's going to be in the bottom. We're going to put that in the bottom. Is it a seller's market or a buyer's market? Is it a seller's market or a buyer's market? Question mark. Now let's cut that. So just go ahead and highlight the whole thing and just um, cut oh, it. I've got two L's in here. And let's just bring it, bring it, bring it down. So put it, put it in front of in this video. Yeah, paste it right there. And then just click enter. Click enter once. Click it. Oh, sorry. Enter. Enter Yay. again. Enter again. Uh huh. Okay. So, is it a seller's market 
or a buyer's market. In this video, I explain the difference between a seller's market versus a buyer's market and how the two unidentical market conditions will ultimately affect you when buying, a, buying or selling a home. In the title, you can put, um, click learn more to download your free seller's guide. Click learn more to download. Okay. To download now. Click learn more to download now. And that's it. So is it a size a click click learn more to download your free click learn more to download your free seller's guide. Just put the whole thing. Click learn more to download your free seller's guide. Yes, yeah, so that would be below the video. That's the text above the video. Is it a seller's market or a buyer's market? In this video, I explain the difference between a seller's market versus a buyer's market and how the two unidentical market conditions will ultimately affect you when buying or selling a home. Click learn more to download your free seller's guide. Perfect. I think it, I think it's I think it's 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 better than what it was before. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Perfect. So so that's how you want to kind of set it up. The title, the text, just question is good. Calling out the market is good. Calling out the city is good. Attention, Oklahoma City. Is it a seller's market or a buyer's market? Or, or attention, whatever little micro city you may be targeting. You know, like calling out a person or asking a question is always, see, a question is, is, is what we call a pattern interrupt. So when I'm scrolling through the news feed and then all of a sudden I read it and it's always just, we glance. That's what we do. We scroll. That's what we do. So I'm not stopping for shit unless something unless and, and it's always a couple words it's not like i read a whole paragraph real quick and that's what made me stop it's always because we read a couple words that makes us stop whether we stopped for three seconds one second two seconds the fact that i stopped it was because it was it was a couple words and normally it's it's it and that's a pattern interrupt so normally those couple words a few words whatever is normally a question or it's calling me out on something to to to, to make me stop right? So is it a seller's market or a buyer's market? That would make me stop. If I was like for sure in the market, that, that would have made me stop. Just that simple. Is it a seller's market or a buyer's market? Well, shit, I don't know. Let me watch. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So always try to create, you know, just, just curiosity is what it is, is creating curi curiosity um, and, and getting that person to want to click or, or watch, you know? So, and always remember that title is going to be below the video next to the learn more button. So there, you always want some type of call to action in the title rather than just a title, right? Like just a title. That's what it was before, just a title. But here now it's click, learn more to download your free seller's guide. Now it's a call to action to get them to click, learn more. You know what I mean? Yeah. So little things like that is how you want to script it. Okay. So, and is that the right thumbnail? Have you checked the thumbnails? That's a, that's a good thumbnail where you're at right now, but. Yeah, that's the one I put up there, yes. Okay, perfect. So then, so then, yeah, so let's scroll down and that's it. So that's how you want to kind of set up the titles and the, um, the text, create curiosity. Okay, I'm taking okay. notes. So go ahead and hit save and then, um, and then that's it.